Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Victoria. Thank you for joining me. I wanted to share my latest journal that I have uh, already put in my Etsy shop. Um, it's a paper bag journal. Um, it's small. I think the measurements were five by five and a quarter. It's a paper bag base. Uh, so there's the front and the closure is bias tape. It's vintage bias tape um, and it's not attached so you, you don't have to worry about it I'm sorry about that you don't have to worry about it uh, you know falling around while you're using the journal you just put it back on when you're done so there's the side of it and I have incorporated tassels this time and I think it's so pretty so I wanted to show you when it's sitting there it's just kind of lined right up. I think it's so cute. Uh, but that's the journal. There's vintage laces. Buttons. This is not vintage. This is uh, new from Hobby Lobby. And there's two sections of the, the pink flowers. This is vintage. Um, in fact... I believe the package said, um, which was the package, hold on, 33 cents. So that was um, out of my stash of vintage laces and um, seam bindings. Um, but there's two signatures. You can see that they're sewn in right there. Uh, let's go in and look at it. Okay. And the front, um, I'll just go over right quick. Um, there's corrugated cardboard, book page. Uh, these little roses, Let's see, one, two, I think three different kinds of lace, one, two, yeah, there's out of a dolly, that's a uh, crocheted piece or tatting, and then there's a lace collar, a piece of a lace collar, with the button still on it, then this little um, bulb pin with, uh, I'm not sure if those are glass, I <laughs> have a new puppy. And, and and my husband is snoring too. So anyway, y'all try not to listen to that part. There's a pocket here. I don't have a tag in it yet, but I will include one. Here's the first page. There's a tag. Um, pretty little lace right here, and there's the little pom poms or tassels. I mean, not pom poms, tassels. Um. There's 44 pages, so it's kind of a, a large one, a lot of number of pages for a small journal. 88 front and back, so 44 total, 88 front and back. I have a lot of textiles in this one. And, um... first page with um, some textile and this is out of a uh, reproduction Sears and Roebuck catalog and I coffee dyed it to make it uh, look older there's some decoupage on book page it's just some little note page note um, post-it note kind of things there's a doily coffee dyed paper with some script stamping. Here's some parchment. Uh, and I put, uh, I think Judy Lee sent me these. Then I put some pieces of uh, um, <laughs> a pattern. This is out of an old 45, I believe, 1945 or 42 um, beta convention magazine from a school 
and I like that. That's a little um, clip out with a paper flower. And here's a um, cluster ribbon with a heart. So there's lots of places to journal. Okay, now this right here, let me change hands. This was an envelope, but it sealed it up. And it's a triple flip out from a page, out from this page. So it goes back in and back over. Um, and it has, I think, about six pages here. Some coffee dyed paper and some music sheets. So that's a, like a hidden um, journaling spot. And right here is one of those little hidden tuck spots for putting a uh, message in. Some old sheet music. It is so old. It is so old, okay? I don't know what year. I'd have to look in that book I got it out of. But it is literally trying to come apart. Um, and it did when I put it in the book. So I had to actually seal, fix that, patch it up. But I thought it actually made it look better. Um, true to a junk journal, you might say. And my puppy is trying to do something down there, coughing. I will show you the puppy before I get off here. Uh, got a pair of scissors in the middle. Okay. Back up a little bit. Okay, there's a butterfly and some bling there, cheesecloth. And that's a tag, and that's a, a little tuck spot right there. Some more textile. Coffee dyed papers. Here's a little flip right here. Okay, and uh, some more of that 1942 Betty Club magazine. Okay, that's the other part of the signature. Okay, it's the second signature. There's two signatures that say um, a little banner. So that one tucks, and this one also you can tuck right here. And that's one of those little faux envelopes for journaling. <laughs> that puppy is three pounds and two ounces, and she's giving the border collie a run for her money. Seriously. <laughs> she is spunky. Coffee dye papers, music. There's a little tuck spot right there. Corner pocket, I guess. Corner pocket. Another little faux envelope with some scripture stamping on it. Done some sewing. Okay. Some more of the um, note pad paper. And this was an envelope. And I've decorated it up. I put a paper flower. Uh, the outside petals are uh, pattern paper. The inside are our old book pages. And right here you have a tuck for a tag. Okay. That's the back side of it. I love this page right here. It's so pretty. That's an applique. Some um, lace. This lace came from Dollar Tree. And the bling did too. Uh, they finally have something different besides the uh, white crocheted lace, which I do love. Uh, but they had that new stuff, and I was like, oh, boy, that's great. All right, so that's uh, this one. Uh, this comes off, a little coin pocket for hiding little notes in. Or jewelry, or leaves, or flowers, whatever you want to save. There's the center of that. <laughs> There's the center of that page with a key. And her name is Sophie. Sophie is a card, I'm telling you. There's a tag. Yo-yo. Okay. Here's another one of those cute little flip-outs with an applique. This is the other side of the envelope with the tuck spot there. Pocket. <laughs> 
she's wanting Layla, the border collie, to play with her. That right there is one of my hidden paper clips, altered paper clip. So it's a good little place to tuck something. Uh, some coffee dyed papers. Some more of that convention paper. Dictionary page. Coffee dyed paper. An old photo. It's a copy. And that's a tuck spot right here. And that's the last page. And like I said, there's 44 pages. 88 front and back. Um, that's it from the side. This is it from the front with the tassels hanging down. I think it's so cute. I love it. Okay, it is in my Etsy shop. It is free shipping within the United States. If somebody wants to order out of the country, just send me a private message and give me your address, your zip code, so I can get a price for the postage. Okay, but it's in there now. And here's one more tag I'm working on to place in it. So that'll be included. Okay, let me grab Sophie. She is under my feet. Come here, Sophie. This is Sophie, y'all. Look at there. Look how sweet. You're just a mess, aren't you? Yes, you are the mess. <coughs> She's like, Mama, don't hold me like that. You're a mess. You keep me up all night long. Yes, you do. Yep. I'm going to put her down now. All right. Ah, so, having a new puppy is like having another baby in the house. Oh my gosh, they keep you up all night long and all day. And then you got to make the children get along because, you know, the other two dogs, they were not that hip on having a new sibling. And she's chewing on everything too, even though I have bones for her. Mm -hmm. So if anybody has any suggestions about the puppy, <laughs> uh, leave me a message. If you like my journal, leave me a message too. And give me a thumbs up. And as always, come on back. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop. Um, like I said, it is listed already. And my next one I'm working on is this one. It's going to be my favorite color, blue. It's going to have blues in it. I thought about kind of halfway doing it. And labeling listing it as nearly naked journal and let the person finish it themselves but i don't know if anybody really wants to do that but i've already got the signatures ready um that's something i was working on there that piece is already measured out to go there uh, but that's the one i'm working on now Okay, and y'all have a good night, and as always, come on back, and thank you for joining me tonight, okay? Have a great tomorrow, and we'll talk to y'all later. Bye. God bless.